Hi everybody. I finished up my DIY oil this past weekend and I was about to remix my little concoction and I remembered that I had shown it to you guys in a skincare video and I thought that would be a great thing to do here on camera and let you see the process and talk to you about a little bit about each individual oil that I use in there and why, you know, why I chose it. Um, and so that you could see how simple the process is to make it for yourself. I thought it might be fun to bring you over there now and I will show you everything that's on my tray and then we'll come back here and I will display everything on my desk and start mixing it for you to see. I hope you find this um, intriguing and easy because I really, I really like to promote natural things. If you have an interest in, you know, kind of creating your own tailored specific to your skin type and your skin needs. This is tailored specifically to my skin type, which is very, very dry. Not necessarily sensitive because I do use vitamin C serums and um, AHAs and I don't have a problem with them. Once in a while I'll get a little bit of redness, but that's typical for vitamin C. Retinols, I, I use retinol as well. Um, the retinol I just started. We'll get into that. Another video. But, um, so, I don't experience with this blend that I use, it's just beautiful. It just feels smooth and silky and it just melts right in with no adverse effects. So if there's anything that you have to watch out for, then you should research a different type of oil or um, try a lower concentration of it or, you know, just be cautious of your skin type. Again, mine is very dry, so this is extremely hydrating and nourishing for my skin type. And I believe it's pretty good for pretty much all skin types. So um, some of the standard goodies, the best of the best for facial skin. I do put it down my neck and across my decollete, on my hands, and as you know, I use my jojobas and sweet almond all over. So, I mean, these babies, you know, oh, well, I'll show you at the end, but I've had these things for ages and they're, they're not even halfway gone yet. So you, it's such a great value, um, so. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that it's easily doable and and uh, very rewarding for your skin. So it's just kind of nice to do a little something for yourself, and this is a very easy way to do that and get reap some wonderful benefits of it. So, all right, I'm going to bring you over to the tray now and and introduce you to all my little goodies, and then we'll come back here and I'll mix. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think this is in focus. I brought down all of my goodies. And I'm going to go through them one by one with you and just uh, give you a little bit of an idea of what each one is. That's my plain dropper bottle that I will be mixing everything into. So hold on one second. Let me just... All right, let's see if I can keep this in focus. Sorry if it goes out of focus. It's kind of being a pain in the butt. There we go. Okay, so first back here, I have my two carrier oils. And I have chosen almond oil and jojoba oil. And they have fantastic um, antioxidant ingredients. Jojoba oil is actually a liquid plant wax, most like, that's this one, most like the um, our, na our skin's natural sebum. And it's, um, it's non-comedogenic as well. So this is the one that I chose to buy. I did get these from Piping Rock. Oh, excuse me. But, you know, there are tons of other sources. I, as I've mentioned before, you want your oils to be cold pressed, not heat processed. Uh, jojoba oil should actually be a little bit more golden, as you can see the difference with the, the almond oil here. That's a little bit lighter. Oh, they're getting to focus. Um, here's the jojoba oil. It's a little deeper golden, and it should have a nutty scent. If it doesn't have a nutty scent, or it's not the same color, then I would be, oops, sorry about that, I would be a little hesitant or a little leery of what it looks like and your almond oil should look like that. Uh, jojoba oil is an extremely stable oil and so it's not that it, I wouldn't necessarily fear of rancidity, I would fear of purity. So again, you just want to, wherever you're getting them, you want to contact the supplier and make sure or read a, a lot of suppliers list it right on their website the fact that it is uh, cold pressed or not 
or unrefined and not heated, heat processed. Okay, so moving along, I have, and next I have my argan oil right here. Oh, it's not coming into, there we go. Is it in focus? Okay. There we go. That's my argan oil. Um, I chose argan oil because it has tons of vitamins and minerals. These are all antioxidants, by the way. It has tons of vitamins and minerals and um, essential fatty acids. It is also a free radical neutralizer. And when I, when I do my skincare series, which I'm going to start, um, I was hoping to start it this week. Oh, I'm moving all over the place to get into focus. Uh, but I've, I do so much research and it's taking a lot to get what's in my head out <laughs> onto paper form and then into some sort of structure that I could actually show or speak to you about it. So I'm trying to organize it as best as possible. Okay, so the next one is, this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a rosehip oil. This is one that I can apply directly, it's in a pump, I can apply this directly to my face. So this, I just wanted to show you, I don't um, put this into my mixture. However, I do put this one into my mixture. So this is again, 100% pure rosehip seed oil. And rose hip seed oil um, <clears throat> is re refrigeration is recommended for it. Um, it soaks in easily. It's extremely hydrating. It has tons of essential fatty acids, and it's anti-inflammatory anti as well as re helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, just like all of these do, because they are all anti-age antioxidants and uh, anti-aging. Oops. Then I have my little guy here, my little bitty frankincense oil um, just a little baby one this stuff I love this stuff this is a very underrated oil essential oil um, frankincense it helps to promote regeneration of new cells while keeping the existing ones healthy uh, let's see it's astringent and it helps to fade spots or discolorations on your skin it also helps to decrease fine lines and wrinkles and tone your skin so full of wonderful things too. I know I don't eat any of these. I know people can ingest them or some people ingest them or there are ways of ingesting them. The I am showing you what I do strictly topically. So that means this is strictly what I apply to my face or my hands, my decollete, my neck, those areas. My jojoba oil and sweet almond oil, I do... Put that all over my body. I, when I get out of the shower, I just slather up in that stuff and it feels great. I don't need a, an additional moisturizer. It soaks in relatively quickly. You do need a few minutes, but it's not too long. I have not experienced any staining on my clothes. Okay, and then I have my luscious uh, coconut oil, which I've shown you before back here. This one is about half gone, um, huge jar. It's going to expire before I can get through it all. Again, it is organic, unrefined, cold pressed. There we go. Let's see if we can focus in. Cold pressed, no trans fats, all natural, non GMO, no hexane. Okay, all the good stuff you want in a coconut oil. Coconut oil has tons of fatty acids that are extremely um, antioxidant. It is a natural antibacterial. Um, oil it's it's got oh my gosh I, I I think I hyped it up enough the last time <laughs> any questions about coconut oil give it a quick little search on your Google and you will read tons and tons and tons about it there's so much I actually for all of these there's just so much positive information out there and scientific proof I like the natural stuff with the scientific proof <laughs> So, all right, I am going to bring all of this back over to my table and just add it to my dropper full, my dropper, sorry, right there, uh, just to show you how easy breezy it is to mix it up. Now, these also, these are price-wise, these are relatively inexpensive um, when you look at what you're getting. You will most likely end up not using it all. I did give some as gifts. I bought some extra bottles and I gifted it out which is a fantastic idea because it's not likely you're going to go through all of this as quickly as, you know, before it can start to uh, turn, I don't know if rancid is the right word, but before it starts to lose some of its beneficial properties. Uh, so, you know, you can be generous with it. I think 
oh, I can't remember now. I know this was $15. That was my big, huge, expensive one. These, the almond oil and jojoba oil, I believe, were about $8 a piece. Um, for how many ounces are they? 16 fluid ounces. They might have been a little bit more. I can't recall. I did buy them about a year ago. They last for generally uh, 18 to 24 months. My first dropper full, right? Uh, oh, why do I keep saying dropper full? My goodness. My first uh, two ounce bottle full lasted me over a year. Uh, so I'm on my second refill and then most of this will I'll either use it in my hair or use it up quickly somehow aside from this one this one is newer so that won't be going bad anytime soon um, but the let's see the rose hip oil I believe was about eight dollars the argan oil they're all all of these bottles I believe were about under ten dollars I don't know somewhere between five and ten I know I did get them for an outstanding price so all right let me bring you back over to my desk and we'll get potioning. All right, I'm back at my desk, and so now I can get mixing for you. Um, one thing I should let you know, which I just realized, was when I was introducing the oils, I had also introduced, well, I've introduced it before too, but I had introduced the coconut oil, and I don't put this into my bottle of mixed oils because it's in solid form. This is the um, organic, you know, unrefined, cold pressed um, coconut oil. So this has all of those luscious EFAs, essential fatty acids, that I want to keep. I want them going into my skin. So I purchase the solid form, which will liquefy with temperature. Like sometimes, because I keep this upstairs, light is not good for any oil. I keep this upstairs in my bathroom vanity behind the doors. So it's always in the dark. Um, and even when it gets in the summer, when it gets really, really hot, I'll go up and this will be liquid. <laughs> so it can transfer back and forth. It can become solid. It can liquefy. It can go back and forth. It does not harm the oil, at least not this cold pressed, unrefined, organic um, coconut oil. Can't speak for all oils on that. Um, so there is what's called fractionated oil, fractionated coconut oil. And um, the companies and skincare manufacturers will use that because they can incorporate that into a cream or a lotion um, because the texture that's in the liquid form. I choose, I opt out of using fractionated coconut oil because I do want those, all those fatty acids that are super nutritious for your skin. There are short chain, medium chain, and long chain fatty acids, and when you when you buy the raw coconut oil, the um, cold pressed, unrefined, it contains all the multitudes of all of those. Fractionated coconut oil removes the longest chain of the fatty acids. So it gets rid of, it still has a ton of benefits. I don't want to say that it's bad, but it, it eliminates some of the really good ones too. So I, I just choose to use the, the solid form. So. Um, if I was ever to make my own lotion, which I aspire to one day, I would love to do that, um, then I may turn to a fractionated form of the coconut oil, but I still think I would rather use that and just apply it at a different time. Like for my oils, because like I said, it warms up to temperature, so if your hands are warm, you just take a little blob of that, go like that, and you can press it all over your face right away. I mean, it's, it's instantaneous, unless your hands are cold, like mine in the winter, and sometimes I really gotta work at it. But, um, so I will apply that either before my oils from the bottle or after my oils from the bottle. I, tr I try to go with the consistency and the, you know, the, um, how liquid something is first, even with serums. If the serums are lighter than my oils, I will put those on first too. Moisturizers have the most occlusives, so I put that on last, but oils are an occlusive as well. Okay, I will get into all that other stuff when I do the uh, skincare series that I'm working on diligently, but I'm just such a hard researcher and there's so much up here, it's just tough to try to get it all out in a sensible format, you know, in an easy format. Anyway, I will apply the coconut oil or I'll, I will apply the essential oil blend and either way, it's all getting in there, so it's all good to go. All right, so here is my little glass, dark glass bottle, because again, we want to protect our oils from any light um, and even oxygen. You want to keep them, keep them, you don't want to leave it exposed to the elements. Um, 
All right, so I start with my carrier oil. I am going to use this jojoba oil. Now you can see, uh, you probably can't see, but this is down to about here for that for both of my carrier oils. I have made three bottles, three two ounce bottles um, so far in a year and a half. Um, the oils generally are good for about 18 to 24 months. I'll have the worst little itch right there. I think there's a little fuzz. Um, so I will keep them for the 24 months and then I will scrap them. But if we're talking expense, I have five different oils that I use in my blend and they range between five and eight dollars each. So if we're talking five for five, there's $25. You know, if we're talking five to eight, even if we want to go the most expensive route and say five to eight, that's $40 for so far three bottles of two, three two ounce bottles of pure essential oils that is a fantastic rate um for me good skincare is well worth the money and the fact that i am um, i'm mixing it myself i know exactly what's going into it there's no preservatives there's no chemicals no byproducts fillers nothing like that so i'm getting all of the raw essential oils um in their best uh, in their best state and I I just personally prefer that I, I will buy other oil blend because I like to try other ones and you can find some really great ones on the market for a reasonable price there's actually one line I'm looking at right now Eva products and um, she's got some great stuff there's often one thing in the mixtures in the formulations that I can't use and um, it's very disappointing and I never had to, you know, I've said this before, I have to be careful now after a chemical reaction, a reaction to chemical hair dyes. Um, if you haven't had the horror of that experience and you can live a normal life and not worry about every single thing that goes into your skincare, even though you still kind of should, still kind of should. Um, but that's why I research the depth, to the depth that I do. And that's why I buy as pure product as possible and making my own with my own pure essential oils it is the purest form I can possibly get my hands on and then put into my body and let it get absorbed into my through my skin so without further delaying I'm going to start with my jojoba oil and I'm going to fill this up to about there with it this does get kind of messy I am doing this at my desk I have paper towels around to catch but you should do this over a sink ordinarily okay I don't know if the light will let you see but um, it's about right there then I'm going to add into it my ooh boy that just blurted all over the place the jojoba oil which I'm sorry the sweet almond oil which I'm going to put about equal amounts of this one too that's maybe a little bit more okay and then I'm going to add my frankincense oil. <gasps> There's so much oil on my hands on these containers. It's everywhere. So don't be surprised if I drop several things. Okay, this is, oh my goodness. The smell of frankincense oil is just, it's soothing, it's relaxing, but invigorating. It's the, it's the strangest thing to try to describe. It smells like a pure forest with a hint of mint. Um, Oh my gosh, I just love it. This should be this should be bottled into a perfume. Um, Crabtree and Evelyn used to make a candle that smelled very similar to this. It was called Windsor Forest, I believe, and that was that thing was amazing. And I had I bought a couple of them when they were out, and then now they don't carry them anymore. I don't believe, or it's seasonal, but that's one of my all-time favorite scents. I love a balsam, and this this just smells. I just can't. Mm. Seriously could breathe it all day. It's just delicious. Oh my goodness. It's so amazing. When you get your own, you'll see. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I'm going to put in probably about 15 drops of this. Well, that was more like probably 18, but that's okay. It's all right. Um, the one thing I would like to point out, if you are making, this is my um, blend that I like to use. If you have any sensitivities to any of these oils, um, adjust your, first of all, don't use them if you, if you have a reaction to them, but if you are finding that some are a little strong versus others, you can adjust your formulation. 
Okay, I'm going with the rosehip oil now, and I'm going to put about probably about 15 drops of this too. Again, remember, I'm doing a two ounce bottle. <clears throat> I'm actually going to do, this kind of pours. The, the frankincense has a stopper in it, so that was why that was drops. This I'm going to do, I think, like four tosses. I think three might be good. And yeah, three might be good because I did kind of, they were kind of long tosses. Um, we'll see. I might go back and adjust it. This is the formulation that works great on my skin. But you can, first of all, before you try anything, make up maybe just a little small batch of it in a little glass bowl and apply it on the backs of your hands or on your neck or, you know, even if you put it on your face. Know your skin. Just watch for any sign of irritation, redness, um, tingling, burning. There shouldn't be any of that. If your oils are, are good oils and your skin can tolerate them well and you're not sensitive to them, you shouldn't, it should feel lo just lovely and just luxurious when you put them on and they should absorb in really well and quickly. So if you're experiencing any negative sort of whatever, um, I don't use them. I would stop immediately and then maybe try again and reformulate without one or the other or, you know, just try a couple combinations or try straight one, like the carrier oil, just doing the jojoba or, you know, try things out like that. Just be smart and knowing your skin and being sensible about how much you apply. You do want a much heavier carrier oil versus the essential oil, <clears throat> a, a greater amount of that. So, you know, just keep that in mind and always test first, always patch test and then adjust as needed. Okay, so now I'm going to add my argan oil and this does have a dropper, thankfully. So this should be a little bit easier. I'll probably put in about eight or nine droppers. They only go halfway up, so two here we go i hope I, I hope you could see me pouring the other ones in three if they were high enough if not i'm sorry four Ooh, it's spilling five six like counting sheep right this is what i count in my sleep <laughs> droppers full of oil and Now, when I first did this for my first time, I didn't use any special formulation that I had read about or anything like that. I just, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I knew to use a, a much greater amount of the carrier oils and several drops of each individual oil. So I just kind of tossed them all in there together and put it on and it worked great. I actually felt like I didn't have enough of like the rose hip and stuff like that. So I did go back and add some of those, some of that in um, after having used it for like, I don't know, maybe two or three months. So you can adjust it that way too. Like if you feel like it doesn't have enough of one or the other, um, or you just want to try experimenting and adding a little bit more, then, then do that. But again, just be cautious and know your skin. My skin is extremely dry. It's not necessarily sensitive. It can be, like I said, because of the reactions. I do have to be careful with what I put on that I don't have a reaction, but typically it's not reactive. It's not, you know, I, I can use pretty much... I don't even have like, I tried glycolic acid, never stung. I tried vitamin, I use, I use these things. I use the glycolic and AHA. I use the vitamin C. I don't have any burning. Sometimes I can get a teeny little bit of redness, which is normal for those things. It would not be normal for these oils. You should not experience any negative side effects. If you do, then like I said, stop using it. Um, okay, so my bottle is now a full about to here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more jojoba oil in there my carrier just to make sure I've got a good solid base and another little couple drops of the almond oil all this stuff is just so yummy for your skin I just want to keep adding and adding and adding um oop, oh my gosh it's so <laughs> I can't believe I haven't dropped this yet okay I am going to put in just a couple more drops of the frankincense probably well it comes out so fast I'm gonna try one two I Okay, that's about good. I think that was about four more drops. And then a couple more drops of the rose, well, another little plunk of it. Okay. And I think I'm, a, I'm about up to where I like it. I don't go all the way up to the top, but I might, I think I'm gonna toss in another little 
Whoa, it almost went down, guys. Yeah. There we go. One more dropper full of the argan oil. And that's pretty good. I feel good with that there. Look at the oils everywhere, but that's okay. I love them. My whole desk is covered, slathered. All right, that's all right. It's such good stuff. Okay, and then I, I do shake it. I don't really know if you need to, but... And I kind of give it a little like this before I use it. Just kind of... And I will pump the dropper inside too just to make sure that you know what's in my dropper is not just the remainder of what was you know last in there like I just like to make sure I'm mixing it up to get them all in there okay let me just one more time before I put it away oh my heavens that is so good okay rose hip not much of anything slight earthy scent like a leafy slight leafy earthy scent doesn't smell like roses that's for sure um and that's okay Almond oil. Let's see. Mm, no. It smells kind of like a plain oil. The jojoba oil has that distinctly nutty scent. Yep. It smells good. I like it because I know it's good for me too. And the coconut oil, of course, will smell like coconut, but that dissipates. My son can smell it on me for hours, he says, but <laughs> he, he doesn't like the smell of it, so he'll... Did you put coconut oil on? Um, you can buy it without the aroma, but I don't know. Just be careful again of what you're looking for to make sure it's not cutting out the ingredient, the good ingredients as well as the um, scent. So, okay, here is my bottle all done and full and I'm excited to jump on this tonight. So again, I think that the cost justifies the, um, whoa, the product. I don't, I think it's extremely reasonable. I don't think it's, um, too much of a waste if you can get through a few bottles this bottle will last me minimum of about 10 months most likely over a year so that's why i'm saying like if you formulate even if you want to say you make two bottles out of this uh, for the cost of 40 dollars which is a little bit you know reasonable but slightly high i think i did get mine on sale for i don't know i think the frankincense was a little bit cheaper might have been six dollars anyway um at $20 for a two ounce bottle, it's I think that's a great deal. And because again, you know what's in here. You know what you're getting and there's no fillers. You know how much you're getting. You're getting a concentrated amount. Um, so that's my favorite way to do it. But I do try others. I try, you know, other blends from manufacturers that are good. So if you prefer not to mess and be oil covered for <laughs> a little while, by all means, if you find a great one, share it. Put it down there. If you've tried any of these combinations, let me know how they worked out for you. Um, I love to talk skincare, so and I hope to have my skincare, the Serious Skincare series, up and started this week. Um, I'm really working hard on it, and I really just want the information to be comprehensive and understandable, and brought to you in, a, in an easy to follow format too because there's so much, there's just so much. And I'm so passionate about it that I just really want it to be good. So I will do my best. All right, so I am going to have some lunch now in the kitchen and maybe probably wipe my hands off because they're really coated with oil. <laughs> so anyways, I hope that if you try this, you enjoy it and certainly let me know. And don't forget, please subscribe and share my channel and hit that little thumbs up thingy there if you liked it and let me know how things work out for you and uh, have a great day and 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 but there's so much i need to add on no really have a great day i will see you guys next time